Hello and welcome back to our course. This is the first lesson of the measure module. It is dedicated to monitoring your campaign and adjusting your strategy. In this lesson, we will learn how to use position tracking to monitor the progress of your rankings on search engines. To do this, we will use the data picked out from the Keyword Magic tool. Position tracking allows you to monitor you and your competitors' organic and paid Google rankings for a list of keywords you've selected and to manage them in several ways. Let's set the position tracking tool up. Go to your projects list, then select position tracking. In the setup menu, choose what you want to track, a root domain, a subdomain, a URL, or a subfolder. We recommend you to begin with setting a root domain for tracking and narrow your tracking scope only after. But if you need to set up a specific URL, mind that you will get results exactly matching this URL. So make sure that you typed in the URL that you actually want to track. You can change the tracking scope at any time and all the data, including the historical data, will be updated right away. Setting up your business name will help you see the locations where you succeeded with getting into local packs. It's an important step to take in case your business is focused on certain locations, which the position tracking allows you to track rankings for. Select your location down to the neighborhood level if you need to track your visibility locally. Alternatively, you can also choose a country, a region, a city, a borough, or an area belonging to a certain zip code. If you target one of the multilingual countries like Canada or Belgium, where Google performs searches in various languages, you will be able to choose the desired language. Besides, you can select Spanish language if you're targeting the United States. Choose your search engine. Google is set by default, but if you want to track search results in China, click Baidu. Then, select the device to track results on. It can either be desktop, mobile, or tablet. Choose search engine, location, language, and device settings responsibly. You won't be able to change these parameters after you run your tracking campaign. Finally, choose keywords for your tracking campaign. You can add them manually, receive suggestions based on SEMrush's analytical, organic, or paid position reports, receive suggestions from your Google Analytics account, import them from a file. You can also add more keywords whenever you want. Remember that you can attribute tags to any of your target keywords in order to be able to filter them by these tags later on. It may take some time for position tracking to gather the data for your project. It depends on the number of keywords you wish to track though. Once the report is gathered, you'll wind up in the landscape report. In this report, you'll find widgets with all the most important metrics and graphs from other tools reports at your fingertips all in one place. First and foremost, you'll see the trends and current values of your website's visibility, estimated traffic, and average position. Visibility is a metric that reflects how visible your domain, subdomain, or URL is for the list of keywords you've set up. 100% visibility means that the tracked domain, subdomain, or URL has the first position for every keyword in the project, while zero visibility indicates that it doesn't rank in Google's top 100 for these keywords. Estimated traffic is a calculation that predicts how many people will visit the domain daily from the keywords being tracked. Average position is the average of all the rankings for the keywords in your campaign. An increase in your domain's estimated traffic as well as its average position rise indicates that you are making progress in your SEO. Below, you'll see the distribution of your website's positions for your target keywords across the top 3, top 10, top 20, and top 100 as well as the comparison between improved and declined positions. To the right of this widget, there's a bar chart showing how your rankings distribution changes over time. Then there are three widgets that deal with your set of keywords. Top keywords, positive impact, and negative impact. Top keywords are sorted by their contribution to your website's visibility. The positive impact and negative impact list shows how much visibility your website's gained or lost due to a position change of a certain keyword. These lists can help you decide which keywords to focus on when doing on-page SEO. The Top Competitors widget is a descriptive visualization of your website's competitors. Taking a quick look at the graph, you can judge how you fare against them. The Cert Features widget is a bar graph that shows how many keywords have Cert Features on their results pages and which. It also shows how many Cert Features are occupied by your domain. On the overview page, you will find the visibility trend of your website at the top of the page. 
Also, you can toggle estimated traffic and average position view. You can type in and compare up to five domains, subdomains, subfolders, or URLs by these metrics at the same time to see who performs best. Below, there's a table that allows you to compare your and your competitors' rankings for your target keywords. You can measure your progress in positions, estimated traffic, and visibility. You can use the table settings button to customize the table and throw out all the unnecessary columns. Use various filters to see the trends in the keyword list with specific conditions applied. For instance, you can filter keywords by specific positions and their changes, the presence of certain SERP features on their SERPs, volume, presence or absence of particular words. The ranking distribution report allows you to find out who attracts more attention by comparing your and your competitors' domain visibility and estimated traffic. See the number of keywords in the campaign you and your competitors have in the top 3, top 10, top 20, and top 100 positions. Additionally, you can look at the rankings in the top paid results from Google Ads. The rankings report provides you with data on your and your competitor's ranking for every keyword you've set up in your campaign. The report is organized as a table with a list of keywords. Every competitor you add for comparison is represented as a column of data. The landing pages report shows you the complete list of your website's landing pages that rank for at least one of your campaign's keywords. Here you can find the distribution of target keywords and estimated traffic between the pages, as well as their average positions and total volumes. Use filters to refine the list and be able to see new and lost pages, pages that rank for keywords with a specific aggregate volume, or pages ranking or not ranking for a certain keyword or a set of keywords that contain the inserted term. The Competitor's Discovery Report will help you find out who you are competing with for your target audience. It is a good place to find your competitors because it discovers them based on your list of keywords and the specified location. You can see the domains that compete with you for keywords in the top 3, 5, 10, 20, 50, or 100 Google results. Choose the desired depth of analysis of your competitors by simply applying the appropriate filters. You can also see who you compete with for winning a certain SERP feature, also by using the filter. Under the Winners and Losers tab, you'll see how your competitive landscape shifted over the selected time frame. Explore the table to examine your competitors more closely and attribute tags to them based on your analysis. The Devices and Locations report allows you to track and compare your visibility across various targetings or combinations of locations, devices, and languages. You can configure up to 10 targetings within a project. This is what we call multi-targeting. We'll see this feature in its full splendor in the module devoted to local SEO. The Featured Snippets report will help you find the opportunities to get a featured snippet position. See the keywords your domain already ranks for in a featured snippet. Furthermore, it estimates how much traffic you might gain in case you win it. With a breakthrough in voice search, the importance of getting a featured snippet cannot be overemphasized. You can also set up alerts triggered when a certain event takes place. For instance, you might want the tool to notify you when your website leaves the top 10 with any of your target keywords to be aware of this and take immediate action. Then, the tool offers you to get summary of your progress via email every week. Just a reminder, in this lesson, we've learned about the position tracking tool. It allows you to observe your SEO campaign in comparison with your competitors. We advise you to play around with position tracking because practice makes perfect. Also, don't forget to consult the Read Further section and visit the SEMrush blog and knowledge base.